Tonight, two men and a teen remain in custody after a manager was shot and killed outside a Hazelwood hotel. It happened over the weekend. New tonight, Robert Townsend reports it's the latest gun violence in the community that has neighbors and leaders concerned. In the past two months, several shootings have popped off in Hazelwood in North St. Louis County. In a single day on October 2nd, police say 70 gunshots were fired outside this QT gas station near 270 and North Limburg. Police say an 18-year-old was killed during a fight among teenagers. Last weekend, a man was shot after an argument at a Phillips 66 across the street from that business. And Saturday night, investigators say manager Victor Folks asked two men to leave this hotel off Dunn Road when he was shot in his leg. Folks died at a hospital. This rapid fire, like a very large rifle, just shots and shots and shots and shots. Amanda Wilder lives behind the hotel where the latest shooting happened. It's frustrating because it's very quiet here. Uh, my heart goes out to the family of, of the gentleman who was killed, uh, and it's senseless. St. Louis County Council Chair Rita Days is concerned about the gun violence happening in her District 1 area. She was stunned to hear that one of the suspects in the hotel homicide is once again a juvenile. I'm understanding that some older people are using these young people to commit some of these crimes, which is unacceptable. Police say on any given night, six to eight officers patrol the streets of Hazelwood. So what would you like to see? More police presence and less guns on the street, <laughs> less shootings. Meantime, Councilwoman Days tells me she would like to see community leaders here in Hazelwood meet and address the gun violence. In terms of, of a meeting of the minds, if you will, and I think that that clearly is, is, uh, is going to be in order because this is going to get out of control. Robert Townsend, five on your side. And neighbors say they are willing to attend a possible town hall meeting and further share their concerns about the violence in Hazelwood. New tonight.